I saw darkness run for cover. But the miracle that I just can't get over, my name is registered in heaven. And I believe in signs and wonders. I have resurrection power. Yes, I do. Still the miracle that I just can't get over. My name is registered in heaven. Oh, my praise belongs to you forever. story I'll testify by Jesus Christ the righteous I'll justify this is my testimony this is my testimony come on do you have a testimony this morning hallelujah come together sons and daughters with blood and washed in water. Sing the praises of the Spirit, Son, and Father. Our God will finish what He started. Yes, our God will finish what He started. Oh, this is my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story. testimony this morning if I'm not dead you're not done greater things are still to come oh I believe if I'm not dead you're not done greater things are still to come story I'll testify by Jesus Christ the right I'll justify this is my testimony oh I'm alive this is my testimony from death to life cause grace rewrote my story I'll testify by Jesus Christ the righteous I'll justify Do you have a testimony this morning? Hallelujah. I'm marching to battle, no doubt in my mind that my God is with me and victory is mine. Dance in the shadow of my enemy Cause God is my champion and he fights for me Oh, God is my champion and 
he fights for me. Bigger the battle, greater my faith. There is no time you cannot slay, cause you're stronger than ten thousand armies. You're stronger than ten thousand. Hey, whoa. You're stronger than ten thousand armies. You're stronger than ten thousand. Hey, whoa.
And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led Sing, you are Jireh, 
Forever enough, uh, always enough, more than enough. Mm -hmm. I don't want to forget how I feel right now on the mountain top. I can see so clear what it's all about. So stay by my side when the sun goes.
is your Jesus. Heart provider, child. Heart provider, Jesus. We praise your Jesus. Love you. 
It's more than you ask, think or imagine. According to his power, he's working in us. It's more than enough. Sing Jira, Jira, you are enough. My provider, Jira, Jira, you are enough. So I for a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes to, to just praise the Lord. Oh, just to relish in his presence. How much more? How much more? How much more does he love you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. sing the words if he dresses the lilies how much more does he love us that's just not words that's his word that's his word not because this worship team sang it or someone wrote it it's because God says it in his word amen you Lord I'm not sure what to do pastor I feel like we just need to stay right here right we want to stay right here this is the presence of the Lord this is his anointing this is where we want to stay we don't want to leave amen would you just continue worshiping if he dresses the lilies hallelujah if he dresses the lilies How much more will he clothe? It's more than you ask, think, or imagine. According to his power, he's working in us. It's more than enough, more than. It's more than you ask, think, or imagine. According to his power, he's working in us. Ja 
Hallelujah. 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 The Lord gave me a sermon this morning. Breakthrough vision. The Bible tells us in Acts the 16th chapter that Paul got a vision of a man in Macedonia saying, come over. The Bible said, assured of the vision, we immediately endeavored to go. And they got to Philippi. And the Bible said they were there a certain amount of days. You know what happens when you got a vision? The enemy attacks. And the first attack of the enemy was discouragement. <laughs> The enemy, it was just, we were there many days, but nothing was happening. Has anybody ever said, God, you said you were going to do it, but it's been a while, Lord. Where, where's, it, where's it at? Somebody say amen. A a anybody know what I'm talking about? And that discouragement, and the devil wants to bring discouragement and think you, maybe you didn't see what you thought you saw, or maybe you didn't feel what you thought you feel. Do I have any ladies in the house? You prayed for your husband, and you prayed for your husband, and there were times when you just thought, I don't think it's going to happen, but God set them free. God delivered them. God brought them in. I come to tell you that my God is able. Hold on to your vision. Don't let the devil discourage you. Because the Bible said after a certain amount of days we will want for prayer. You, you want to fight discouragement? Talk to the God that gave you the vision. Talk to the God that said he's going to do it. Amen. God, what do you think about the situation? And the Bible said as they were praying, a woman named Lydia who sold purple came by, got saved, got baptized. I'm here to tell you God is able to do it. I, I don't know if I'm going to get any further than this. But, but Jonathan, come here. You know what God has spoken to you and what he said, but there's been times of discouragement. But today God is bringing encouragement where there was discouragement and God is saying what he said he will do, he will do in your life. You don't give up, you don't quit because God's going to do it. Church, stretch your hands this way, Father.
you're watching by the inter internet right now in the name of Jesus I bind discouragement the spirit of discouragement I bind it in the name of Jesus what God said he would do he will do in your life the vision God gave you it's going to happen I need your moms and dads that want to see your children say I want you to lift your hands right now in the name of Jesus Father, right now, the vision, God, when you spoke, you said you would save them. You said you would bring them in. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we claim every life in the name of Jesus. The prodigals are coming back home in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of discouragement is gone. Every spirit of discouragement is gone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of discouragement is gone. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. And I am surrounded. Woo. Hallelujah. By the arms of the Father. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, I
Paul and Silas got back up and they went back to the city and began to preach. You know what happens when you go back and start preaching? The enemy doesn't like it. And there was a woman in the town who was demon-possessed. And the townspeople used her because she was a soothsayer. She was a uh, psychic. She began to follow them. And she began to cry out, these are men of God. Some people would have made her their campaign manager. But what was happening was the demon was trying to get attention for Paul and Silas and put it on her. Because she had been telling the future and people had been coming to her and she wanted them to know, hey, I know who they are because the spirit in me. But Paul got tired of the devil. The Bible said that Paul was angry. I wish God's people would get angry at the devil. Hallelujah, he was angry and he turned around and he cast the devil out of her and she became the next Christian part of the church that God was building. I'm ready to tell you the devil might be tacking, but get ready for a turn around, amen. God's about to turn it around. Get angry, don't quit. Just tell the devil you're going on. Woo. Man, that's good preaching. Tell the devil to shut up. I said, tell the devil to shut up. You know what God said to you. You know what God showed you. You know what God said he's going to do. Tell the devil to shut up. And God is about to turn it around. But the men of the city who were making money off of her didn't like the fact that now she's a Christian. So they came and got Paul and Silas and they took them before the magistrates. The word magistrate is a governor, a leader of an army. And the Bible said they took them and they beat them and put them in the inner jail. You would have thought it's over now. But at the midnight hour, I said, but at the midnight hour, Paul and Silas begin to pray and they begin to sing. Amen. It ain't over. <laughs> it ain't over. Hallelujah. I've never, my God, can you imagine Paul in the stock saying, I've never been closer to God than I am right now. Amen. He's more than enough and I'm more than enough. And the jail shook and the stocks fell off. Sometimes the devil's a dumb devil. Because all the gates opened, all the stocks fell off. God's not ready to set you free from it. He's ready to set everybody around you free. And the jailer came and he took a sword ready to kill himself. And Paul said, no, 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 we're not going nowhere. The jailer took him to his home. The jailer and his family got saved and baptized. So they came because they found out Paul was Roman. So they came to Paul. We're going to sneak you out of here. Paul said, you ain't sneaking me out in the dark. You brought me in in the daylight. You're taking me out in the daylight. You brought me in guilty. You're taking me out innocent. You're not sneaking me out of here. And the Bible said that they went out. And then Paul and Silas left. But what happened? Philippians, the first chapter says this. To, I'm writing to the church, to the saints, to the deacons, to the bishops. My God. He's writing to a church that was started because he had a vision. Hallelujah. And he said, what God, what the work that God begun in you he will finish it somebody say amen what God begun in you he will finish it what God begun in you he will finish it my God somebody needs to shout what he started in me he will finish it hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation.
Revelations, the third chapter, the seventh verse. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, or Philippi. Who these things says he is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts and shuts and no one's open. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Woo. And no man Amen. can shut it. For you have a little strength to have kept my word and have not denied my name. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. You ready for this? But lie, indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet. Hallelujah. Listen to me. God's able to bring Satan worshipers in, deliver them and get them saved and have them worshiping. Hallelujah. What is there? A church with an open door because Paul had a vision. And discouragement came, and they beat discouragement. I want everybody to lift your hands one more time. Lift your hands one more time. In the name of Jesus, I bind discouragement. In the name of Jesus, I bind discouragement. God, I loose your people, but there is an open door before them. Mm. And what you said you will do, you will do in the name of Jesus. Right now, God, I come against every demonic force. Every demonic force that's trying to stop your people. In the name of Jesus. You are done. In the name of Jesus, you know who I am. I am Rick Mullins, Holy Ghost filled. You know who I am. In the name of Jesus, you are gone. Your God's people are free to receive what God has given them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray against every bondage that would bind your people. Whether it's past, whatever it is, I bind it in the name of Jesus and loose them to step to the next level of where you're taking them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All right, worship team, I need you to start singing. Code up us. If you want to see your vision, come to pass what God said he's going to do lift your hands all over this building come on come on begin to worship him come on begin to worship him
just spoke to me and said, don't worry about that which walked away from you. Get ready for that's walking to you. Woo. Oh, I don't think it Don't worry about that which is walking away from you. Get ready for that which is walking to you. Come on, lift your hands one more time. In the name of Jesus. 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 Kanda <laughs> In For I say unto you, says the Holy Spirit, if you only knew the plans God has for you and where God will take you, you would worship Him today. Oh, come on. Someone needs to worship him. Someone needs to worship him. Hallelujah. 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 Get ready. The reaper's about ready to overflow the power. While the power is going, the reaping is taking place. God's taking it to another level in the name of Jesus. To the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you Jesus Jesus nothing else matters nothing in this world will do oh. Jesus, you're the center. Everything revolves around you. Jesus, you, nothing else matters. Jesus be the center, it's all about you, yes it's all about you, from my heart to the heavens, and Jesus be the center, it's all about you, yes it's all about you, 
from my heart to the heavens and Jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens and Jesus be the center it's all It's all about you, Jesus, you. I need somebody to say, get ready. Get ready. What he said he would do, he's going to do. Get ready. Hallelujah. What he told you he would do, he's going to do. Get ready. Get ready. Get my God. Get ready. Hallelujah. What he said he would do, he's going to do. Get ready. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Woo! How many's glad you came to church this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I guess we're going to sing another song. Amen. Isn't this worship team anointed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What an honor to be invited to the marriage of the Lamb to come and worship Him. A celebration. It's the joining of the bride and the sun, the two becoming one. And all the prophecies fulfilled in a moment, so we see. Like the roar of many waters, like the sound of rolling thunder, hallelujah, give him glory for the marriage of the bowing down will crown you with many crowns every creed and tribe and tongue declaring in unity like the many waters many waters like the sound like the 
the whole world knows that King Jesus, he is faithful. He is the blessed hope. We'll shout till the whole world hears it. We'll sing till the whole world knows that King Jesus, he is faithful. He is the blessed just continue worshiping the Lord, you can do that. Um, how good is our Lord, our Lord, right? Amen. Amen. It's been so good to be in his house this morning and just to be in his presence, right? And to, to sit down at the table and to refresh yourself with spiritual food. Amen. God is good. God is good. Um, just a few announcements. Uh, next Sunday is the kickoff to Operation Christmas Child. So next Sunday, you can pick up one shoebox or two or 10 or 20. Um, we, our goal is always 300 shoeboxes. And last year, we met our goal. And, and I just thank you for that. And again, uh, next Sunday, you're going to see a video that will show a little bit more about that. But make plans now for next Sunday, Operation Shoebox. Uh, and also, next Sunday will be the kickoff for our pink table. And that is our breast cancer awareness table. So you're going to be able to see some um, really some some really cool things that you'll be able to purchase. And all of these proceeds go to uh, breast cancer awareness and breast cancer research. And my lovely assistant just brought me one of these uh, mugs, and it says hope. And the back says the more hope we feel and share, the brighter it will bloom everywhere. So this is one of the th items that you'll be able to pick up next Sunday. So look forward to that. Our breast cancer walk is Sunday, October 17th. Um, that donation is $20. And again, that just goes toward breast cancer awareness, breast cancer research. So you can either sign up at the church on the church center app or at the information center. Um, we're excited that we have a men's breakfast coming up. Men's breakfast is October 30th at 9.30. Uh, this week you'll be able to sign up on the Church Center app. And uh, just make sure you get ready for that. It's, it's going to be uh, a great time. And uh, 
you know, the men can never outdo the women. <laughs> so our women's breakfast is the week before October 23rd. <laughs> October 23rd, and, and I just let me just say it was my women's committee. I'm going to throw them under the bus. <laughs> October 23rd, women's breakfast. October 30th is our men's breakfast. So we've got some great things planned. So I'm excited that we're doing stuff, right? We're doing ministry. Uh, you'll have the opportunity for our Thanksgiving baskets. Remember uh, the white laundry basket that has a list of items. That will be a huge blessing to our food pantry. And then women's retreat is only about eight weeks away. I'm so excited about that. Uh, that date is November 26th and 27th. And so ladies, sign up, go to the church center app and sign up or come and talk to me. Um, it's going to be a great time. Pastor Sharon Ram Kilowan is our speaker and she is a dynamite little fireball anointed preacher and she's going to just bless your heart tremendously. Amen. Uh, it's time to continue worshiping the Lord in giving. You can go to the church website and give. You can go to the church center app. You can text the amount to 84321. Or if you're in the building, you can place it in the offering box as you leave. Would you stand and pray this prayer with me this morning? With joy, I bring my tithes and offerings into the storehouse. My tithes and offerings now belong to God. I claim an open window blessing. I claim an overflowing blessing. My needs are met according to his riches and glory. My family is blessed. My children are blessed. I am blessed. And if you would be seated, we have a video from our dance team that we want you to enjoy. And this song is entitled Together. So enjoy this. This is for the question marks This is for the outcast so lost control No one knows Sing it for the can't go back Sing it for the broken past Sing it for the just found out Life is now upside down If you're looking for hope tonight, raise your
with our differences together we are bolder braver stronger amen hasn't it been good to be in the house of the lord today i want to let you know how much we love you we're praying for you amen the best is yet to come amen lift your hands all over the building may the lord bless you may the lord keep you May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious unto you. May his countenance overshadow you and give you peace and give you rest. Now to the only true living God be all glory, praise, and honor now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you. You're dismissed. We love you. The best is yet to come. Amen.